Today, it is going to be an updated version of my chocolate sauce. Now, what do you use chocolate sauce for? Chocolate sauce is used for topping or walling your drinks, and also it can be used as a base for your drink. So it is going to be a little bit more thick than the chocolate syrup, but less thick than the chocolate fudge. Let's find out how to make this delicious homemade chocolate sauce at very, very low cost. After we've made our homemade chocolate sauce today, we are going to apply it immediately and we're going to make iced dark chocolate. The recipe today is no butter, so we are going to make use of super dark chocolate blend this time. I'm going to mix it with Milo to make it cost effective and this is my secret ingredient. It actually makes it smell better. We're going to use condensed milk, evaporated milk, dash of salt and we're going to add vanilla. This makes it a little bit more premium and also tastes better. The recipe that I'm going to make today will give a yield of about 300 milliliters of chocolate sauce. You can multiply the proportion for as many times as you wish. Make a large batch if that is what you need. So let's go ahead and make our chocolate sauce. To mix my ingredients, I'm going to use a saucepan and you can use a whisk, a spatula or a spoon. But I find that the spoon is the best one to use for mixing all my ingredients. Super dark chocolate here, Milo and then my evaporated milk, condensed milk. Once you have mixed all the ingredients, bring it to a low simmer. Do not bring it to a boil, you just need to warm it just to make sure that the chocolate powder are fully dissolved and you get a silky smooth and not lumpy chocolate sauce. Okay, at this point I am going to use the whisk because if I used the whisk earlier, the tendency is for the chocolate to be stuck in there. And so now, I just want it to be smoother. So there it is, it is ready. I'm going to add some dash of salt. This is just to enhance the flavor of the chocolate. Finish it off with a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, now that is my perfect homemade chocolate sauce. It is smelling really good. This sauce is going to thicken if you refrigerate it. I would suggest that you take it out of the refrigerator, keep it in room temperature during the day if you are using it in your shops. Once this cools down, you can put it in a squeeze bottle. Gorgeous looking chocolate sauce. Time to make our drink, iced dark chocolate using our homemade chocolate sauce. For this one, very, very simple. It's only water and our chocolate sauce, okay? 120 ml or half a cup of our of hot water. Very, very easy. And to this, I'm going to add my dark chocolate. Something new, something different. This is called super dark chocolate. Look at how black that is. It's not even chocolate in color. Now I'm going to assemble my drink in my 16 ounces cup. Ice. top it up with whipped cream so that we can see how to use the chocolate sauce to decorate the whipped cream. Chocolate sauce is thicker in texture and it can be used to decorate your whipped cream. Now you know how to make very easy homemade chocolate sauce and this time it is black chocolate. This is a super dark blend. Here are a few extra tips for your chocolate sauce. Salt. Use salt sparingly. Do not put a lot of salt, otherwise it might be salty, okay? Just a dash of salt. For storage, I would suggest that you keep them in bottles like this, keep it refrigerated, and if you want to use it for decoration for your walls of your cup or also for decorating the top of your whipped cream, I would suggest that you put it in a squeeze bottle like this. Perfect for smoothies, milkshakes, and frappuccinos. The sauce will naturally thicken when refrigerated. So this is after being kept in the refrigerator overnight. It is quite thick and it will be quite hard for you to squeeze it out of the bottle. I would suggest that you take it out of the refrigerator, let it thaw for a while, and then keep it in room temperature if you are going to use it in your shop during the day. If you'd like it to melt quickly, then you can pop it in the microwave for a few seconds. This can be kept in the refrigerator for at least two weeks. Now, I've got here my iced dark chocolate. The way I did it is that I used only water to mix with my chocolate sauce. If you'd like it to be milky, you can replace the water with milk. Okay, but I'd like this to be black chocolate. Mmm, that is really, really good. 
This is not too milky for those that do not like their drink to be too milky. This is the perfect drink for you. Absolutely delicious. One of our best sellers was always dark chocolate. This time it is black chocolate. I'm sure it will still be a best seller. Give this recipe a try and let me know how they go for you. Well, there you go. Homemade chocolate sauce. Save money, make your own chocolate sauce, and I can guarantee they taste even better than commercial chocolate sauce. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, like, comment, and share the love. In the meantime, take care, stay safe. Don't forget to check out my books, All Things Milk Tea and The Basic Barista. Details are now to order in the description box below. Full recipe of chocolate sauce, chocolate syrup are in my books, so do check them out. In the meantime, stay safe, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.